Full name is actually Dexter Lia Glimlinga Lee. <laughs> yeah. I'm the oldest of three brothers. Up to getting married, you find the one, you know, everything clicks and you enjoy the same things. And then figuring out like, okay, how do we build a life together? And everything else just falls to the side. And that's not an excuse. It's just something that the priority of my health kind of dropped. The high rock. And then, um... You know, it started gaining weight and it, just, it didn't really hit me like the impact of where I was physically and mentally didn't really hit me until I looked in the mirror and it was during COVID. I'm not happy with myself. I hated the way I look. I always keep on telling myself on Monday, you know, next Monday, after this family party, after this, after this gathering, yeah. that's when that started. I got into pretty good shape. Man, I showed you a picture. I was like, I got, I got into pretty good shape. And that, but I was through keto. I was, oh, I was always moody and, and not happy. And whenever we went somewhere to eat, I, I just like, I don't want to eat here. Like, there's nothing keto here or well, i can't eat any of this you know the family parties like angry kind of guy man you always so jolly you always had the energy so i can only imagine what angry dex would be like <laughs> no angry dex is bad man like <laughs> that's so not good doing keto and being frustrated feeling like garbage how did that translate to the family and the goals you sacrifice so much to build it wasn't good i mean it didn't i mean goal wise i'm an it i do a lot of it so there's goals to be done quarterly annually biannually and they have to be met so i'm very logical but when it came to like our relationship yeah it was strange it was strange because i was always in the i wasn't listening to both sides of the story i would only push my half of it you know and, that, and that's not right i mean a marriage is compromised you have a partner so like when you're when you're bound with your partner it's there's no like i wasn't hearing her and i hated that why and, was that why why weren't you hearing her i think it's because like my my expectations on myself weren't satisfied or weren't met. Why did you wait so long until to address it? Or why wasn't it addressed throughout the whole process? I wasn't even thinking about it. That's the thing. I got stuck in that mindset. I liked the results, but I forgot how satisfying the journey should be to get those results. For me, I, I messed up by forgetting the journey. I just wanted the results. And then I remember there was one point my wife and I had a conversation where it's like, you know, we opened up and she told me like, I don't like, like I don't know what's going on with you, but the decks I know was this. You know, and even my my bestest friends were like, yeah, we didn't want to say anything because we were kind of scared of how, if you would physically act out on us. I was like, what the hell? I was like, and, you know, and I was, I was doing crazy stuff. Like I would stop eating at 7.30 yeah. I'd wake up, I'd go to the gym, not eating anything. I'd have a lot of pre-workout, creatine, yeah. a protein shake. And then 20, 30 minutes later, I'd be on a 62.3 mile bike ride. Yeah. And, and I would eat just keto snacks, which has no carbs, no energy, yeah. just yeah. protein. Protein and I, I, Yeah. And I would just remember like, like hustling through those rides as fast as I could, ditching my friends yeah. who were on the ride with me, which is the wrong mindset. Like I should be enjoying my time with my boys because we're all older now and we all have responsibilities and this is supposed to be like our time to be brothers. It's either your angry Dex trying to get into shape or like <laughs> your happy, relaxed Dex succeeding, but also not looking, feeling great. Yeah, like trying to find a happy medium. So I have, I had two wake up calls, the second yeah. wake up call. I was supposed to go to New Jersey for one of my closest friend's weddings. Yeah. I ended up in ICU. Yeah, my heart rate dropped to, I, I think they said 24 beats per minute. I remember telling my wife, I'm dizzy. We were packed. We were literally up at 6.30 in the morning and we were about to go to the airport. The next thing I know, I was placed in the ICU. And I was the youngest one in the ICU. And they said it's a form of bicardia, but that, that scared the crap out of me. You know, that, that literally, and I was taking all these supplements. So I was taking fat burners, NOS. Oh my gosh. Um, testosterone pills. You couldn't keep up with it. Yeah. That's, that's, they, like, the doctor said like, that had nothing to do with it, like through blood work, but I, I, I know it was the mentality. You know, my, my son is autistic. I want to be the best dad that lives for as long as possible to be there for him until he overcomes whatever he needs to overcome and he has a happy life. You know, I'm not going to be around for forever, but I want to be as just for as him. Can, you know what I mean? You know, and then my, in the back of my head that, you know, my, uh, there's a history of cancer in my family, diabetes, high blood pressure. And that was a wake up call. And I remember after that, just doing a lot, like not, not going back to lifting and working out, but like cutting back, like not lifting as heavy, not doing so much cardio. I yeah. cut all the supplements out. Is this just before you joined us or a couple? This was, this was a couple months ago. Oh, wow. So it's recent. 
this was March. Yeah, wow. Yeah, this was March, man. This that's the crazy thing of it. And so why did you reach out for help in the past? I'm pretty sure you can relate to this too. It's that Filipino men, we are stubborn, we can do it all, we can do everything. And my wife and I had a good talk. Like, we're not our parents. Bro, it's you know, we don't generate it's hard to break though. Is so true. <laughs> like I Yeah, it's so like like we laugh about it, you know what I mean? And it's a real problem. It's like, oh man, like, yo, Tito died, but Tito died happy. He, he died chugging a Mountain Dew. It's like, and we joke about it, yeah. but it's like, wow, man, that's a, that's such a bad mentality to I think have. It's a coping mechanism, to be honest. I think yeah, I, feel yeah. like I I get the coping, but it's like, I don't want my son to be like that. Yeah, yeah. I, like if my son sees a problem, I want him to solve it, not just tackle it head on but like okay what do i need to do to solve it and then break down the steps like how your program is here's the phone calls guys like i'm not saying hold fast and true to it on your first day but like let's see what your adjustment period is and then let's talk in two weeks and and then like let's adjust it from there like how are you feeling about this program how are you feeling about um the diet yeah. do you like these foods like I, that's what i love about your program so far it's fantastic how have you found the experience so far your the changes the results like run me through it yeah so far like i love that there's just a foundation the foundation's kind of like just being able to relate to you was like the greatest part of it for me that's that's what sold me like mm. okay man that's that's pretty cool and then even after we spoke and i was like i'm in yeah. I was still, I was a little hesitant just because like, I don't know what's coming, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like I did your, I did your workouts on YouTube. I I, I wrote them down and like, I, I did those. And I'm like, and then I realized the way you were doing was killing I'm like, man, this kid's pretty strong. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, um, when, um, we hooked up with coach Naz and then the, the protocols were given to me in regards to the workout, yeah. the diet, how the app works. Like it's so easy. That's what I love about it so far. Like it's it's so easy to follow. It's just it's just you're very interactive with us in regards to you know let's 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 get on a call. Let's talk. And then you're also on Discord too. Whereas like I know some programs I've done before, the only time you ever talk to that person is the beginning. And then mm. when, when you quit, that's why I keep telling everybody that hops on. I'm like, hey man, like nobody here. Everybody here is like moving forward and trying to keep yeah. with each other and 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 trying to. You know, we all have the same or similar goal. I think for me, it was the whole, like, you're genuine. Like, you came across the first time we actually spoke, you, you're very genuine. And then you're very relatable. So that's that's what sold me in. And then everything, the way it's going, it's like, I've never thought about being this strong. Like, how, like right now I'm in block two, and my strength is going up like crazy. Yeah. And then within a week, I'm like, okay, I'm still around this weight. But the definition and change in my body, I can definitely see in the mirror, the which is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. In that short amount of time, it's just, that's insane to me. Yeah. I've never, like, even when I was doing keto, like, it took months. Yeah. But, like, but with the program that you and Naz laid out to me, it's like, only been seven weeks. This is insane. Yeah. And like, my shoulder width is bigger. My, I buy new clothes soon. It's sustainable. That's, that's the big thing for me. Like, I can eat whatever I want. I just have to make sure it's, within, you know, within the macro range. Yeah. yeah. I think for men, it's the whole, we want to be strong. We want to look good. want to be attractive. Like, I think, for, like, honestly, for me, it, it's more of, it starts from being physical. It yeah. starts the it starts from the physicality of it, you know, and it's just moving outward from there. Yeah. You know, like there's, it's yeah, that's the, that's the thing. It's a power yeah, it's of self-conviction, right? Yeah, and it, and it just comes in a circle, and it's just, you're just hoping that in, in that circle, you absorbed everything you learned or put into practice at least. Physicality is like one of the most hardest things. You literally self-inflict pain for a long period of time, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a choice. And, and you enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. Like you have to be some form of psychopath, right? <laughs> you know, if you can go put your body through that physical pain, the physical stress, it builds emotional character and resilience that you can yeah. do to translate into your career. Three Anyways, more, three you know, more. You know, that's the same thing. <laughs> Anyways, Dex, thank you for your time. Thank you for your idea. Yeah, man. Pleasure catching up. Any problems, sure. let me know. <laughs> yeah, um, no problem. I will, man, for sure. Apologies for my camera dying. My Both my cameras. We'll leave it at that. Thanks, Dex. Um, yeah, man. No time. problem. Happy Independence Day. Enjoy 4th of July, brother. Take care. All right, bro. Take care.